All right, what is up my peeps? Joshua Smith here with another GSD Mode Podcast Weekly Real Estate Tip where every single week I come to you delivering different tips, tactics, and strategies to help you get shit done inside your real estate business and help you ensure that you are crushing and dominating your overall real estate goals. So today I'm here to talk to you about an extremely powerful topic, something that is of utmost importance to me, something that has probably made the biggest overall impact on any aspect of my life, any element of success that I've ever created. This thing, the single thing that we're going to talk about today has led to more power um, than anything else that I've ever really done. And I'm all I'm calling it the secret, right? The secret to winning the day and crushing your real estate goals or whatever the real estate, whatever the goals are, real estate goals, any other goal that you have, this is what I found to be the secret to going out there and dominating these. Now, is it really a secret? No, and I'm not using the word secret as clickbait. The reason why I'm calling it a secret is because even though 99.9% .9 of human beings can do this, they probably have some awareness and, and understand the importance of doing this but 99.9% .9 of human beings just will not do this. So what am I here talking about today? We are talking about overall your morning routine and setting yourself up to be in the best position, the best mental, the best physical, the best energetic state to go out there and execute on the shit that you need to execute on throughout the day. So it's about being on power with purpose, right? So having purpose, so knowing what that target is that we're aiming for. So it's not just about the morning routine. It's about being on power with purpose, right? And I learned that from a mentor of mine years and years and years ago, being on power with purpose. So having that clarity so we know where we're aiming, man. Like when, when our ship leaves, you know, the base or whatever, our ship leaves the harbor, like we know that destination that we are going to. Otherwise, you're just going to wind up nowhere. So we know we have intention. We're operating with intent, right? Our actions are aligned with the intent that we're trying to go out there and create, but then the actions that we are taking, we are now able to take those actions with the utmost power. So we're talking physical, energetic, and mental power because it's not just about the actions that you take. Yeah, you got to make sure that you're taking the right actions, but that's not enough. It's how you take those actions. So look, I know that we're all in real estate here. So I'll, I'll, I'll maybe say, you know, say this in a different way that maybe you can understand. Like that, that makes sense that we can all, can all relate to. It isn't about the, just like with, with, if I'm going after lead gen or prospecting, look, it isn't so much about the script. I mean, I'm not saying that scripts aren't important, that scripts don't matter, but it's not just so much about the script. It's how well we implement the script, right? It's, so it's not just what I, the words that I'm saying, it's how I say them. Like I understand, you understand that sales is 70% of sales is through our verbal and nonverbal cues. So it's not just what you say, it's how you say it, how you deliver it, your tonality, your pacing, your speed, how well you pre-frame and reframe and reduce sales resistance and all of those things. You and I can deliver the same script. You and I can deliver the same listing presentation. You and I can deliver the same buyer consultation or, or insert whatever, right? Whoever's going to be the most victorious with that is the one that has the skills to, to take action on that thing in the most effective way. Whoever delivers with the most confidence, whoever's got the best energy, whoever has mastered the skills of tonality, who's right. So it's not just, and hopefully you understand this. It's just like, you know, like back before I got into real estate, I was in the gym business. My dad owned and operated gym for 30 years. I grew up in the gym business. I can't tell you how many members I'd see over and over and over that would come in each and every single day and they never get a result. And then you'd see people come in there and make massive transformations. So it's not just about getting in the gym each and every day or following a diet. Right. It's about doing those things in the right, correct way, in the right, correct order that then gets those results. So that's what we're going to be talking about here today. How do you go out there and operate as the absolute best version of yourself? So when you are taking these actions, again, you got the most mental energy, like the, uh, you're optimized mentally, physically, energetically. So you really can just be your best version of yourself as you are taking these actions. All right, so I'm going to break down a lot of different things here. Make sure you got a pen and paper, or if you're I don't know, listening to this at the gym, listening to this on the road, you know, you can always circle back to this, but we're going to go through this uh, here today and do a deep dive in this. But real quick, before we jump in, look, if you are a real estate agent, team leader, broker owner, which I know you all are, and maybe your real estate business is not exactly where you want it to be. You know, maybe, maybe your business is declining, maybe it's stagnant, maybe it's growing, just not growing at the pace that you want it to grow at. And you just do not know exactly what you must do to get from where you're at to where it is that you want to go. It's like you're operating down here, but you know your full potential is way up here. I invite you to schedule a 100% free 
100% zero pressure Zoom coaching call with me personally. It's going to be a one hour long Zoom coaching call. Usually I charge $1,000 an hour for these for a temporary period of time. I'm offering these free for all my amazing GSD mode peeps out there. To just thank you guys for all your support that you give me over the years. And look, I understand there's challenging times going on right now. And I want to give back and I want to support you guys. And I promise you during this session, I will get you dialed in. I got your back. You got nothing to lose, everything to gain here. What we're going to break down during this coaching session is where your business is at, what your 12-month goals are, what your long-term goals are, what you're currently doing, what your biggest obstacles are. Then from there, I'm going to map out the exact strategy that I recommend to get you from exactly where you're at to where you want to go. I'm going to remove all that overwhelm, all that confusion. I'm going to get you extremely focused so you can be like the horse with the damn blinders on and make sure that you know exactly what to execute on to get from where you're at to where you want to go. Now, on today's podcast, I'm going to talk about how to get yourself in the best mental and energetic and physical state to go execute on those things. But you got to make sure that you are executing on the right things. If you don't know what those right things are for you to execute to get from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible, then schedule this free Zoom coaching call with me. Again, you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. I promise you, I will get you dialed in. You can schedule that at www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. Right. Once you schedule that, there's going to be a really important video to watch. It's a quick video, but I recommend that you watch the whole thing in its entirety because that's going to prep you and help you for this call to ensure that you get the most value out of it. All right, let's jump back in here. All right, so again, we're talking about how do we get, and hopefully you're grasping this, man, it's on power with purpose. And the reason why I keep repeating this stuff and I keep restressing this is it took me a minute to capture it, like to really you know, understand the power of this. Even though I had mentors and coaches and other people tell me to do this, you know, I just knew better. I didn't do it. And then, and then boom, it clicked. And I wish I would have started this years and years and years prior. Okay. So here, here's what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to go into, we're going to talk about the morning here. And then I'm going to transition and talk a little bit about the evening, because if you don't nail your evening routine, your morning routine is going to be very hard to, 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 um, be able to execute on and get this shit done. So they kind of go together, right? Like my evening routine exists so I can get the sleep that I need to charge the batteries. Cause I know a lot of you struggle with sleep and getting the, the recharge that you need. So I'll give you some tips there, you know, on how to structure that. But then from there, it's okay. What are we doing with our mornings to get us in that best physical mental state? Now I'm going to save you, you know, just, just, uh, you know, so because some of you might be thinking, well, shit, man, I don't want to do because we see all these biohackers out there. I'm not talking about doing fucking sauna and cold plunges and all this crazy shit out there. Look, if that's part of your routine, if that helps you, great. You know, I don't do any of that shit. You know, I'm not saying that you got to do any of that shit. And just because I don't do it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I'm not saying that this has to be some, you know, multi hour morning routine thing. What I'm saying here is there's there's quick, easy things that will put us in the best state to go out there and execute on. But here's what it takes. Okay, number one, you need to get up early. Now, when I say get up early, I am not saying you got to get up at 2 a.m. like I do every single morning. The reason why I get up at 2 a.m. every single day, just because some people hear that and think that's so freakish, right, is I'm at a season in my life with three kids that are all in their seasons of life where they all have activities, recreation, multiple activities going on. So like just the other day, man, it was like, okay, I had a volleyball game with my one son, right? Then after the volleyball game, then we had soccer practice. After that soccer practice, had a football practice, plus my daughter had cheer. Like that was like a whole, eat, you know, right? So I need to get started early to get my morning routine in, which I'm going to go through with you guys to, right now. Um, then to get all the shit done, I need to get done with work in my six different businesses, which takes you know, time and focus and energy and attention, then I'm not willing to be you know, an absentee father, not to be able to show up for my kids' stuff and whatever. So that's just a season of life. Am I planning to get up at 2 a.m. for whatever? Fuck no. You know, right? So when I say get up early, I'm not saying you get up at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. I'm saying that you got to get up earlier than, what you than when you have to get up because here's what we don't want to do. You don't want to be reactive. What most people do, 99.9% .9 of people is they, they get up with just enough time. And usually their alarm goes off. They hit the snooze button five more times. They roll out of bed where now they're starting their day off in chaos. Right now it's just rush, 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 rush. They're starting their day off in chaos and stress. And no, we need to get up earlier than that. Whatever that time frame is, and you can figure out how long, if I talk about all these things that I want you doing in your morning routine, you can decipher how long that needs to be. But we need to get up that, like, let's just say, okay, this is going to take you an hour. 
or 30 minutes or an hour, two hours, whatever it's going to take you. We need to get up that much earlier and maybe get to bed a little bit earlier so you can get the sleep that you need to get these things in and get these things done. So you're going to have to get up earlier. But I'm here to tell you, man, when you get up and you're able to get up in the day where you control your morning, you're able to be proactive. And here's a thing that just getting up early each and every day does, right? It, it, it proves to yourself internally that you have the discipline to go out there and go after what your goals are. So it's you communicating to God, to the universe, whatever your belief system is, that you are committed to making that thing a reality. So I'm just here to tell you, it is going to lead to increasing your self-worth, your self-confidence, and you're just communicating. This is a little woo-woo, but it's communicating to the universe, communicating to God that I'm committed to making my goals a reality, and it fucking matters and makes a difference, right? Okay, so what we're getting up early, so we, we're not reactive, we're not just now, we're not just running like a freaking chicken with our head cut off, just bouncing all over. Nope. Again, now we're going to, we're going to be on power with purpose, right? So we're going to get up early. Now, once we get up early, here's the things that I want you to do. Number one, I want you to feed your mind because we got, we got three, we got mul a multitude of components here, <clears throat> right? We've got our, we got our mental state. We got our overall physical state, you know, and physical state is going to take on a couple, you know, a couple different things here. Then we've got our intentional state, right? So, so with feeding our mind, right, this is going to be a little bit of self-development time. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to get up and start listening to the news. I don't want you to get up and start reading the newspapers. I'm not saying that you can't do that at some point in your day. If you feel the need to go read some propaganda, that's all bullshit anyway, that you're never going to hear the truth on. And you just feel like the need to have certainty and, and figure things out of how the world works, even though you'll never be able to figure that out. If you feel the need that you need to do that and waste your time with that, I used to, I went through those traps and then you know, realize, okay, this is all bullshit, you know, but if you feel the need to do that, okay, do that, but do that later in the day, do that in the evenings, do that, you know, cause that's going to put you in the wrong mental state right now. We want to get you excited about the day. We want to get you rocking and rolling. We want to feed your mind just like we would, I feed my body the right nutrition to go out there and give myself the right mental energy to go out there and crush the day. I want to feed my mind the right mental energy. So whether it's listening to these podcasts here or if you have other podcasts, now make sure though, the content that you're feeding your mind is specifically helping you get in the right motivation, inspiration, or giving you the right skills and helping you improve your skills that you're going to be able to <coughs> go implement throughout the day. You don't want to be listening to shit that just, you know, it's like I get asked all the time, dude, oh, do you listen to you know, Joe Rogan? I'm like, look, dude, I have mad respect for the dude. Yeah, I love, I, you know, but that to me, that's just entertainment. Like, dude, I love the guy. Mad respect for the dude. Love everything, you know, what he's built. But when I listen to it, I'm like, this is just entertainment. This is not getting me from where I'm at to where I want to go. So that would just be like me binging some Hulu show or some movie. So I'm, that's not going to be part of my listening schedule because I'm trying to improve myself. I'm trying to improve my skill sets. I'm trying to improve, add value to my mind because I know the amount of money that you make right now is the amount of value that you bring to the marketplace. You want to make more money. Okay. You need to bring more value to the marketplace. How do you bring more value to the marketplace? Right. You add more value. You become more valuable. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to feed my mind with things that allow me to be, be more valuable with the things I need to be more valuable within to go, you know, yeah. Cause like, obviously like, I don't know, like if I was to go out there and start learning shit about cooking, well, I'm not a chef. If I was a chef, okay, that might help me be more valuable to my career choice, right? We are in real estate. We are in sales. We are in business. We are entrepreneurs, right? So I'm feeding my mind specific things that either fire me up, motivate the shit out of me to go out there and attack the day or are adding value, adding skill sets for me to go out there and add those things. So we're going to feed your mind. Right now, what does that look like for you? Look, I mean, it could be 10 minutes. It could be 30 minutes. It can be an hour, whatever it is for you. It just depends on how fast you want to accelerate your growth, you know, um, but here's what I do. You know, I'll walk you through what I do. So, right. First thing, when I get up, my alarm goes off. Now for me, because I'm too much of a freaking weak human being with my alarm clock is next to my bed. When I get up early, I hit the snooze button on that. So I set my alarm clock across the room. So I'm forced to jump out of bed, go grab that alarm clock. Well, now I'm awake, you know, right? So I have to set up my environment to win. But then from there, right next to my alarm clock is my phone with my earbuds. Boom. I put those in my ears, right? And then I start streaming that podcast, that audiobook, that thing. 
that's feeding my mind and I do an audio, right? So for me, I, I don't read physical books anymore. I just listen, right? Um, so then from there, okay, next step then is, is I'm getting my, you know, doing, getting ready for the day, all of that stuff while I'm working out, while I'm doing these other things I'm going to talk about, man, I'm able to get in several hours of self-development, feeding my mind the right things for several hours. Okay, so then, so step number one is going to be to feed your mind. Step number two is to move your body. So we're talking about being on power with or having power, being on purpose with power, right? So power or on purpose is the intention. Power is, again, being in that best physical, energetic, mental state, energetic state, physiological state, right? So we can take the right actions, but do those with the most freaking power and energy to blow through that shit because it all matters, right? So I know moving my body and seven days a week, I want you moving your body. Now, I'm not saying you got to go hit the gym hard seven days a week. Look, I don't hit the gym hard seven days a week. You know, I resistance train five days a week, but the days where I don't resistance train, you know, like I'm still moving my body. And that can be, again, it's going to be different for all of us. Maybe it's a 10 minute walk around the house. Maybe it's a 10 minute walk around the neighborhood. Maybe it's, you know, like the like days that um, I'm not resistance training, you know, I jump rope and do some planks, you know, and it takes me about 10 minutes to do that. But I get my, I get the blood flowing. I get the endorphins going, right? Endorphins are kind of that feel good chemical inside the body, man. They make me feel good getting free radicals out of my bloodstream, right? Um, it puts my, you know, getting that blood flow rolling, man, gets the circulation rolling, gets my mind, you know, feeling in a better state, gets me that more energy. Okay. So we're going to move our body. So now we fed our mind. We're moving our body and you can sign, like you can synergize these things, right? This is what I do, man. I got, I got the, you know, I'm listening to the audio while I'm moving my body. And then next thing is we need to feed your body. And really when I talk about feeding your body, this is also feeding your mind. I don't know if you know this, but your brain uses more calories than any other organ in the body. So if you are feeding your body bullshit, input equates to output. Right. So if you got low energy, if you're like, oh, dude, I just I know I got to do this work, but I just can't execute it on today. Right. Like number one question I get is, man, you know, all, all this stuff that you have going on in life, all the things that you do, how the hell do you get it all done? I'm like, dude, I would never be able to if I didn't do these things I'm walking you guys through today. I'm able to get done or three times the amount of stuff that the average human being is able to get done. Because I'm mentally in the right state, I'm energetically in the right state, I'm physically in the right state, so I'm able to give the things more energy and better energy and do them more effectively and do them quicker than my competitors. And I don't have the thoughts of, oh, I'm so tired. I got to do this, but I'm so tired. No, I'm just like, hey, I got to do this. Let's fucking roll, right? So this is this stuff matters. Now, I'm not saying that, boom, you start doing this stuff and t you know today, all of a sudden you're going to do a 180 and be you know, Joshua Smith energy. No, it takes time, right? Like, but you're going to be better. You're going to feel a difference. And then the next day, now you feel a little bit better and then a little bit better. And then after a year of doing this, you're on fucking recognizable. All right. So now we want to feed your body, right? So feed yourself the right nutrition. I'm not going to go into nutrition here because everybody's got different goals. And you know, I know some of you are, are, you know, vegan or veggie. Like everybody's got different goals and different diets. And, but I'm just saying, feed your body, right? Good nutritious shit. Yeah. Right. So for me, and I'll walk through, I'll, well, before I do this, or I'm going to go through each of these and I'll go through what my routine is. So now we're going to feed your body good quality food, right? Not a bunch of processed bullshit, not a bowl of cereal. It, like you can, uh, and I recommend all day long, you do this, but feed like the first, the first meal of the day, we've all heard it before. First meal of the day is the most important meal. And, and it is. Yeah, right. So same thing like with your kids. Oh, let me just feed my kids with a bunch of freaking cereal and send them off to school. And no wonder they can't learn effectively and they're freaking all hyperactive and their brains are all over the place. They can't focus. And yeah, because I just fed them a bunch of poison, right? Like I just fed them a bunch of, you know, a uh, high fructose corn syrup, you know, no protein. No, I just fed them a bunch of bullshit. I just loaded my kids with poison and I sent them off to school. No wonder they're, they're having a tough, oh, my kids are always sick or my kids, I mean, they have a tough time focusing at school, you know, and then the next thing you know, the teacher's trying to get you to get them on some fucking attention medication, you know, right? And it's like, okay, well, maybe if we just feed our body the right foods that it's supposed to eat and stop poisoning ourselves, dude, I can't, like, and I'm not just talking about kids here, but I'm talking about like, like with, with adults, man, it's like one of the number one issues that I'm, when I'm talking with agents, whether it's on these free coaching calls or with my own organization or all day, every day for 20 years, all I've done is just be around and, and rock with realtors, team leaders, or broker owners, right? It's my obsession. And, and that's just what I do. 
But one of the most common things they say is, I just can't focus. I can't focus. I'm like, okay, right? We can, we can quickly fix that if you're willing to fix that. Yeah, right? Um, uh, but a lot of this comes down to, like, we got to feed our body the right shit. Yeah, right? I mean, how do we gain energy? How do we, you know, how, how does our mind operate? Man, it operates off of calories. It operates off of, you know, fuel, right? So we're not plants. We don't get our energy through photosynthesis. We get it through eating foods that our bodies were designed to eat. When I say eat, okay, I'll just simplify it here. I'm not going to get into types of diets and all of that stuff because we all have different goals and there's different, you know, whatever. Um, um, I have my own convictions on, on the right types of diets and whatnot, but that might be reserved for a different, you know, podcast. But here's a rule of thumb. Eat one ingredient foods. Okay, like a banana, a steak, an egg, right? Like one ingredient foods. That's what our bodies were meant to go out there and, and consume and digest. That's where you're going to get the most clean energy. Okay, so ne next thing. I want you to have quiet time. I want you to have a little bit of solitude time so you can review your goals and just think through the day. I want you to play the tapes of what you're going to execute on throughout that day. You should never enter a day without having it fully committed to paper first and knowing what you must execute on from when you start your day to when you end your day, at least when it comes to your business, you should know exactly what that looks like and exactly what that looks like to go out there and win. So, and again, this might take you 10 minutes or maybe you want 30 minutes, whatever it is, you can come up with your own time constraints, right? But I just want you to have, you know, at least 10 minutes of solitude time where you're just, you're just, you know, nothing like just completely quiet, no noise, you just with pen paper, right? And you're just thinking about the day, you're rolling the tapes, you're visualizing how that day is going to go. You're, you're reviewing your goals and you're reviewing your daily plan of what you must execute on. So then from there, though, in order to do that, when we talk about reviewing your daily plan, this is where I talk about, you know, on power with purpose, right? So with purpose, you've got to have clarity. I know I talk about this all the time on the podcast, but you got to have extreme clarity on what you want, why you want it, why it's important to you. So then from there, you know where you're going. Right. So I'm not going to say what this means on this podcast, but three, one, eight. Those numbers mean something very intentionally to me for three of my different businesses or what two businesses and then the other something else, you know, right. Um, but during that, it's like, okay, I'm writing three, one, eight, multiples, like all three, like three, one, eight, three, one, I'm focused on three, one, eight, three, one, eight, right. My saying in my head right now, because those are targets I must go out there and hit. So I'm in my mind, this is going to sound silly, but I'm like, okay, 318, go dominate. Yeah, right. So I'm repeating that. So I'm focused on what I need to do. Then every action in my day is like, okay, does that align with getting me to 318? Is that getting me to 318? 318 is, is, is the daily targets I need to be hitting. Yeah, right. Is that getting me to that target? So then now when I'm reviewing my day, when I'm again, we got to take the right actions but right now we're talking about taking those right actions in the right way with the most energy, with the most focus, you know, physical energy, mental energy, you know, right. So we can go out there and, and operate as the best versions of ourselves each and every day as we're executing on this stuff. Okay. So I'm going to walk through kind of what my morning looks like, you know, and then we'll, then we'll go talk about a little bit with the evenings here. All right. So in my morning again, and I'm not saying you got to do this. I'm not saying it doesn't matter what time you get up. Right. Just get up whatever time you need to do, like whatever time you got to be in the office, just reverse engineer this. Okay. I got to be in this office at this time. Here's all my things I got to do in the mornings. Maybe got to get, get kids ready. Got to get them off. Well, how early do I need to get up prior to that to have this alone time to be able to execute on your morning routine to put you in the best physical, mental, physiological state? So you're not just starting off your day reactive. You're not just starting off your day in chaos. You're not just starting your day off in stress. Because what happens then? If you start your day off in chaos, stress, anxiety, you know, running around like a chick with your head cut off, okay, that's pretty much going to dictate the rest of your day. And you're going to get low output. You're going to get low performance, right? Um, okay, so with me, okay, I get up at 2 a.m. I already told you this. You know, get up at 2 a.m., go grab me, shut my alarm off, grab my phone, Boom, put on my, my earbuds, and now I'm streaming. Whether it be a podcast, whether it be an audiobook, I love audiobooks. I'm always streaming a lot of audiobooks and, and you know different things there. So now, okay, so I got up early now, I start off immediately feeding my mind. Then I walk, walk to my kitchen um, and I eat meal number one, which is my pre workout meal. 
So then I'm, I'm eating, you know, so you know, I won't go through all my diet, but you know, I eat my pre-workout meal. I like to eat that one hour before I train. So then, okay, now that I've eaten and I'm still this whole time, I'm streaming, I'm feeding my mind. You know, right? So by this time, I got about 20 minutes of that. Then I shut off the audiobook. I go into my home office and that's where I'm reviewing my daily plan. I'm reviewing my goals. I'm rewriting out my goals. Again, I'm reviewing my daily action plan, seeing if there's any holes in there and I'm playing the tapes. I'm visualizing how I'm going to do those things, how I'm going to show up to those meetings, how I'm going to execute. I'm, I'm visualizing the man that is going to show up to those activities, the result that I'm going to get on those activities. Like, you know, I'm visualizing that, man. I'm playing the tapes with that. You know, it's said that like Michael Jordan used to play the game in his head before the game actually exist, you know, took place. It said that Michael Phelps, I remember in, in, uh, listening to an interview with Michael Phelps, one of his uh, meets where at the Olympics where he actually won the gold medal, his goggles failed, led in all this water. So essentially like he was blind, like he couldn't see anything during that race, but he still won it. And, and when he was interviewed about that, like, well, how did you do that? He's like, I already ran that race a thousand times in my mind. Visualize, right? Visualize how this is going to go. It's like when I pull up to a listing presentation or a listing appointment, okay, I'm going to pull up. I pull up 15 minutes early. So it gives me five minutes and I visualize my sign in that front, like how where my, where my sign's going to go, what it's going to look like. I visualize my sold sign on there. I visualize myself walking out of that meeting in the next hour with a sign listing agreement in my head. Now you can be like, oh, this is just woo woo. But look, you become what you think about. Hands down, like, you, you know, as a man think of, right? Like, uh, uh, you know, amazing book out there. So, um, um, you know, go, go listen to, maybe need to listen to some Earl Nightingale. Like, get your mind right with this shit, you know, right? Um, okay, so then from there, now I've got that, you know, that, again, that, that this is quiet time with that reflection, that review, written my goals out. You know, I know exactly what I got to execute on throughout the day. I visualize how I'm going to execute on those things. Boom, earbuds go back in. Um, and then now I'm just starting to walk a little bit, get my body a little bit more warmed up. Then at 3 a.m., you know, I hit the gym, which I have a home gym. Um, or if you got to go to a physical gym, whatever. You know, I, hit, I had a home gym, so I hit my gym at home, right? So for 3 to 4, I'm working out. But during that time, I'm still streaming. You know, still get, I'm not, I don't, oh, well, Josh, I can't work out to audiobooks. I got to listen to music, okay? You're doing that because it's fucking easy. Right. Like you can, it's not that you can't, it's that you choose not to. I used to be that way too, but I learned that. Okay. When I'm driving, like I, when I'm driving, when I'm working out, when I'm doing those things, this is how I'm able to get in three to four hours of self development a day without adding three to four hours of extra tasks to my plate. Because the things that I'm already doing is when I do my self development. That's why I love listening to audio. Oh, I can't, man. I just can't learn through audio. Learn to. You can. You're just choosing not to. Quit, like, give up the damn excuses. Like grow up, man. Like you got to give up the excuses. You can, you're not allowing yourself to because you're closing your mind. You're being a, a victim. You're being a, you're operating off a fixed mindset, not a growth mindset. Yeah. Right. Like, okay. Like you can learn this stuff, right? You, the best way to go out there and learn is to learn, learn how to learn in all three learning styles, right? Which audio is one of those. Okay. So then from there, now I'm working out. Now when I'm done working out, I'm still streaming audio books the whole time. Right now I'm eating my post-workout meal and I'm meal prepping my meals for the day and then I'm getting ready. So then now that takes me to 5 a.m. So that whole time as I'm eating my post-workout meal, as I'm meal prepping and packing all my meals for the day because I want to keep my, you know, fed with my body, right, the rest of the day. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm self-developing all through that. Now it takes me to 5 a.m. Now you know, I'm packing up, leave the house, usually about 5, 5.15. I'm in the office every single morning at 5.30, start my work day. You know, right? So, so that's my typical morning routine, right? So it's, but it's integration. It's getting all of that stuff done. But then you best believe, I mean, like right now I'm recording this podcast at 7.30. You know, I've already had a sales meeting this morning at 6. Um, like I'm already getting shit done, man. But when I get in the office by 5.30, like, man, I'm on freaking fire. Yeah, right. And throughout the rest of the day, I'm on fire until my head hits that pillow at night. Yeah, right. But all of this is intentional when it comes to this. Okay. So then from there, now let's talk a little bit about the evening routine. Now I'm not going to go long here, but the evening routine exists. So then that we can get your ass out of bed when you need to get out of bed. So just a couple quick tips here. Okay. Go to bed at the same time every single night, seven days a week, get in the habit of it, get in the, oh, you know, like, Oh, well, man, I just, I, I can't do that because I like to watch TV. It helps me go to bed. Look, you just trained yourself to that. Like you, you can train your body to do anything. 
Yeah, right. And then from there, the problem with that bullshit, because I used to do that too, watch a Netflix show. I'm just going to watch one episode. You can all relate to this. I'm just going to watch one. What are they so brilliant at? That freaking, that, that, that cliffhanger at the end. We're like, oh shit. I need to know what happens. It's a dopamine trigger. Our bodies crave, crave certainty. We need to know they're smarter than us, right? They're, they're going to pull that shit. I, it's, uh, to me, it's like, okay, I'm not watching that shit before I go to bed. Yeah, right. Um, you know, so, so, so go to bed same time every single night, wake up same time every single day, seven days a week. Your body's going to, you're, you're just going to operate better, right? Like your body gets in that rhythm. You know, you, you, you just, you know, I won't go deep into the reasons as to why, but you know, it's going to be massively helpful to you. Then from there, okay, have your evening routine. Okay, what do you need to do before you go to bed to get yourself in the bed? Okay, I found a few things for me. Okay, I can do zero, I can't do any work at least one hour before I go to bed. I found that I can't shut my mind off. And 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 then then I'm just I'm laying in bed. If I if I work up to the time I go to bed, then I go to bed and then my mind can't like for me, it's shut off one hour at a minimum. Usually I try to shut about two hours before I go to bed. Um, but at least one hour before I go to bed, I won't allow myself to work up uh past like one hour before bedtime. Right. So for me, I go to bed every night at eight o'clock. So then I'm getting up at two. So I still get my six hours of sleep because that's the amount of hours that I need to sleep. If I get less than that, I'm not able to get that same energy throughout each day. Right. Now it's going to be like maybe you need seven, maybe you need eight. I'm not telling you that you got to go out there and get six like me. Everybody's different. I've tried eight. I've tried seven. I feel every bit as good off six as I do eight. So why would I sleep eight when I feel every bit as good as I do six? Oh, well, Josh. You still need eight. I listen to a podcast where it fucks up your mind and it handles you internally, even though you have the energy left. Okay. Right. I get my blood work done every six months. I'm not saying that maybe I'm not fucked up in ways. I don't know if I fucked up, but I get every KPI tested. I get my blood work done every six months. I work with very smart, brilliant, optimal health physicians with preventative care that I trust with this stuff. Like my markers are great. You know, right. So I don't know, maybe, maybe you know, anyway, not to go down that whole path, but Figure out what you need. And, and, and I'm not saying you got to replicate what I do. I'm just walking through, you know, just giving you guys examples here. Okay. Then from there, I minimize blue light for the last hour at a minimum, if not two hours before I go to bed. So blue light, right? So what, why blue? So your LED TVs. Yeah. Right. Um, um, any, you know, fluorescent lights, your cell phones, right? So I'll wear these bad boys. Right. So you pretty much when I'm not podcasting or on webinars, I got these on, right? So these are blue light blockers. They, they, they remove, you know, re reduce eye strain. And well, why is blue light so negative before we go to bed? Cause it, it, it has a direct massive negative impact on your body's ability to get into REM sleep. And you need to be able to get several full sleep cycles throughout the night for the neurons in the brain to recycle. And so if you can't get the REM sleep that you need, okay, you're going to wake up tired. Like you can go get 10 hours of sleep, but if you, if you, if it's not good quality sleep, it doesn't matter. Right. Um, then from there, okay. Like I know the supplements, like for me, I take a lot of magnesium. I take certain supplements before I go to bed that just a lot of people, if they're magnesium deficient and certain things, you know, they have a difficult time going to bed. Now you can check with your doctor on this stuff. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm just some dude that just does some shit, you know, right. To go out there and optimize my life, you know, but I know the, the foods that I need to eat before I go to bed. I know the supplements that I need to take. I, I remove exposure to blue light. I'm not working an hour before I go to bed. And then, and this is powerful, right? Then I have found, so I learned this back when I was a kid. My brother and I were really into you know, skiing, snowboarding and whatnot as kids. And we still are now today. But um, when we were kids, like before we go hit the mountain, man, we watch all these like Warren Miller documentaries about people just shredding on the mountains. And we watch those and get us so fired up. So we were so excited to get up in the morning, go hit that mountain. And so I do that shit at night. Right. So instead of binging Netflix or binging news or putting negative shit in my head, like, dude, I sit there and I'll just, I'll just turn it on. So I'm just listening to the audio because I'm shutting my eyes, but I'll turn on like Earl Night Nightingale. I'll turn on some old Jim Rowe. I'll turn on, you know, shit that is just feed my mind great things that gets me excited. So when my, you know, when that, when that alarm goes off in the morning, I'm excited to start the day. I want to fire myself up. Now you can go watch all the news that you want. Right. But, but what does the news do? They're going to go out there and push the, the worst, most grotesque, you know, negativity cells, right? You can have the most beautiful rainbow on the left side of the freeway. Nobody's looking at it. You got this gnarly crash on the right side. Everybody's looking at it, right? Negativity cells. So, but I don't, but it's, it's, it's going to distract me 
from going after my goals, dreams, and visions. It changes my state, right? At least for me, maybe it doesn't impact you, but for me, it does, right? When I'm watching a bunch of news, man, you know, I start quickly, you know, getting less hope about the future. You know, I start getting more negative instead of positive. You know, right. But here's the thing. It's all bullshit. You know, right. Um, um, like you can't try like, oh, and I'm not going to go down tinfoil hat rabbit, you know, whatever there do what you want to do there. Right. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing shit that feeds my mind because the only thing like, I'm not going, I, I can't control what's going on in the rest of the world. What can I control? So why am I going to focus on bullshit that I can't change, that I can't control? I'm going to focus on the things that I can control, which is me, my mind, my behaviors, my actions, how I show up, the actions that I take, the opportunities that I choose to go out there and create for myself, for my family, making my goals, dreams, and visions a reality. Now, I'm not saying to not have awareness of what's going on with shit. Like I can have awareness. I'm educated. I, I have a, you know, I'm not saying that I know everything because none of us know everything. None of us ever will. You know, but I have a pretty, you know, I, I think a solid framework for how the world works and, and for, you know, some certain things. And, and, you know, I can navigate through shit without me being glued to a fucking news station all night. You know, right. Like, okay, I can, I can glance at a couple headlines, you know, and know what that shit means. You know, right. Um, um, know who the shit's leading, you know, without fucking wasting hours and hours in a day at this stuff. But this is setting myself up, you know, where I'm feeding my mind consistently the right things. Yeah. Right. Then from there, I'm, I'm, I've got the right morning. So I got the evening routine that allows me to get up, be ready to rock and roll, to get my morning routine done. My morning routine allows me to execute at the best version of myself on the shit I must execute on day in and day out to make my goals a reality. Then boom, it's repeat each and every day. So that is the secret to winning the day and crushing your overall real estate goals. So I, I highly recommend, I highly encourage you guys. And again, this doesn't need to be a long thing, like days where I'm on the road or traveling or, you know, whatever, like I can condense all of this down to like a 30 minute thing. So don't have these excuses of, oh, Josh, your morning routine is like three hours, man. I can't do three hours. You know, okay, cool. Like I have times where I can't either. And I condense that down to 30 minutes. Yeah. Right. But that 30 minutes, that still puts me on power of purpose. It's just a condensed version of it. So there's no reason, no excuse that any of you can't do this. And if you care about your goals, you're going to figure this shit out and you're going to start doing it, right? Um, uh, you know, unless you think I'm full of shit and you choose not listening. But I guess, guessing if that's the case, you would already checked out of this podcast. All right, so I'm going to end with this. Again, if you guys do not know what you need to be executing on to get from where you're at to where it is that you want to go inside your real estate business, I highly encourage and I invite you to schedule a 100% free, 100% zero pressure Zoom coaching call with me personally. I promise you, I got your back. I will get you dialed in. This is not some, you know, uh, a wasted time, glorified sales pitch thing. Now, full disclosure, yes. We're going to spend 50 minutes diving into you, diving into your business, where your business is at, what you're doing, what your goals are, what your long-term goals are, all of those things I need to know to be able to help you articulate or to articulate the best strategy to get you from where you're at to where you want to go. I'm going to eliminate all of that overwhelm all of that confusion that you have because right now that's a big issue for so many because there's you got so much noise going on in this information age that we're not going to eliminate all that so you can be like a horse with the blinders on and know the most effective efficient path and actions that you must take to get from where you're at to where you want to go in the most effective efficient time i can't tell you how many people at the end of these calls are like dude i had one just the other day that was like dude this was he's been doing this 20 years just like me he's like dude, this was the most powerful like session most powerful thing I've ever, he's like, in this 50 minute time frame, you've given me more than anybody's given me my whole entire career. I've had people tell me that, man, I've been coaching with XYZ coach the last four years. I got more from you in these 50 minutes than I have from any of those for free. Right. Again, normally I charge a thousand dollars an hour for these right now for limited amount of time. I'm doing them for free. Now, full disclosure. Yes. That last 10 minutes, I'm going to walk through what my coaching program is, what it entails, how it works. If it's for you, great. If not, that's okay too. I am not a high pressure dude. I don't need your, your business and money that bad. You know, I do okay for myself with all my other businesses. Hey, if you want my help, cool. If not, that's okay too. Here's what I can promise you though, is you are going to get so much value out of this free coaching call. You are going to eliminate all that guesswork and know exactly what you need to do to get from where you're at to where it is that you want to go. I promise you that. Even if you never, ever, ever do any additional advanced coaching with me, like, I'm going to give you that clarity that you need to start kicking ass in your business. You have my word 100% on that. 
So you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. So this is something you want to take advantage of where, look, if you do not know what to do, if you are struggling in capacity, then that's your fault now. I'm giving you the lifeline. So go out there and book this. It's like you're drowning in quicksand. I see you. I'm throwing you the rope. You just got to grab the rope. I will pull you out. I promise you. I got your back. I got you covered. I will pull you out. But I can't force you to grab the rope. Like if you want to choose to drown, go drown. But if you want to grab the rope, I'll pull you out. I got your back. I'll help you out. So if you want to schedule this, go to www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. All right, guys. Truly appreciate you being here. Keep crushing it. And uh, um, see you next time. Peace.